I no longer have a nickel to invest. I've spent it all on Porsches, Apple products, and fancy coffees. If you go in a shopping mall bathroom, does it look anything like this? 10 years ago, Mark Weens made his iconic top 25 things to do in Bangkok list, and at number six is MBK Shopping Center, a mega mall that's literally a country in and of itself. And at the time, that was a pretty impressive mall, but what Mark didn't know was that in 2018, the biggest shopping mall in Asia would open its doors, and so on the new and improved Bangkok list to rule them all, I give you Icon Siam. <laughs> lots of ways you could get here but definitely take the riverboat it's fun it's free and it gives you an iconic view so you get a sense of the size and scale of this place be careful though unless you're filthy rich you might go broke in here the last time i came here with Haley, the first few minutes were pretty scary Please keep on walking, Haley. Please keep on walking. This place cost 54 billion baht to build. That's like one and a half billion US dollars. It's got two of the tallest towers in Bangkok that house a hotel and the Mandarin Oriental residences. But the main attraction is this massive shopping mall. So this room has four giant 16 meter tall pillars. A little classic Thai art, Thai culture. And before I get to the bottom of the escalator, I want to shout out Germany, today's top viewer winner. Germany, you guys have watched the six most videos ever on my channel, and I thank you. I never met a German I didn't like. You guys have a, a really good sense of humor. Now it's your turn to book a ticket to Thailand. Enough with the luxury brands already. Anyway, this place is absolutely huge. It has over five and a half million square feet spread out over seven dizzying floors. And it has a lot of shops that you might expect to find at any shopping mall anywhere in the world. But this one has a few that would surprise you, maybe even shock you to find in a shopping mall. So let me just give you a little tour and show you a little sampling of what's in here. So it's a pretty decent Apple store, but Apple stores, all those other shops we just showed in the montage, that's pretty standard stuff. But how many malls do you know underneath the Apple store have a Porsche store and underneath that they have a Versace store and then over to the right they have a makeshift pop-up Gucci vault. I just jumped out into the parking lot to show you the type of clientele that can afford to come here. And it's not me. Excuse me, but I'm just using the facilities in here. And I got to say that for those of you back home, like where I'm from, if you go in a shopping mall bathroom, does it look anything like this? No, no, it doesn't look anything like this. And that's why I always remind people that if you've never been to Thailand, don't come with any preconceived notions. A lot of people have this vision of Thailand in their head that it's, that it's just a, kind of a, a third world country where it's just shacks and stuff on the side of the road. And there's lots of that, but Thailand has its fair share of luxury, and when it does luxury, it ramps it up way more than the first world that I'm come from. And if the toilet didn't convince you that this place is next level, look at the typical coffee shop in this joint. I'm now in a huge Japanese department store. If you're from Japan, you know this place. It's called Siam Takashimaya. 
well, the Siam branch, but Takashimaya, it spans all seven floors. This place is absolutely massive. It's a Japanese shopping mall, but it's nestled inside a Thai shopping mall. It's like Inception, a mall within a mall. By now you're probably hungry and all those crazy sit-down restaurants that you'll find all over the mall. The food court here has to be seen to be believed. It's built to represent like a replica floating market. And this place alone is over 150,000 square feet. And uh, the unique thing about this food court is that they have food from all 77 provinces here in Thailand. So you can find almost anything you like, including this. What's this one? Mo? Oh, chicken? Okay, I try. Tao rai krap? Roy, nung roy? Okay. I got these fried chicken dumplings for a hundred baht. May not be as cheap as the street, but look at this. Mmm, really tasty. The crazy thing is, I'm literally sitting in a shopping mall food court. This is mental. SCB Investment Center. Let's be realistic. I no longer have a nickel to invest. I've spent it all on Porsches, Apple products, and fancy coffees. <laughs> okay, so I'm a little offended. I see the Women's Club over here. They got the Kids Avenue right over here. What about us middle-aged men? Why don't they make a zone for us? I mean, oh, wait, they did. It's it's called Nana Plaza. I forgot about that. Okay, no longer offended. I'm gonna finish off the tour by showing you this ridiculous little restaurant row up here on the sixth floor. If you make it all the way to the top floor, definitely come and check out this terrace. And I've only given you a little taste of what's here. If you come at night, there's crazy water fountain shows, giant movie theaters, all kinds of stuff that I haven't shown you. And that's the thing with the Bangkok list to rule them all. I'm just giving you a little wee taste so that you can taste it, but you have to come and experience all these places for yourself. And on that note, tomorrow's huge. We start the top five and you know what that means? Mark Wayne's only four more days until we meet, man. Yep. Right? I, Mark. <laughs>